Hey there, let's take a moment to discuss arguably one of the most important things about shooting video, and that is the cameras. You might have noticed that I have highlighted my cameras a little bit before, but let's try to be a bit more in depth today. So this right here is uh, my primary camera. This is the Canon EOS M50. This is uh, a mirrorless camera. You might notice that I have a silicon protector around the camera as well as a uh, small rig cage and this just helps me to mount various things to my camera. And right here is uh, my B camera. This is the Canon EOS M100 and while 100 is certainly a bigger number than 50, this is actually an inferior camera to the M50 which is camera A. When I'm shooting with camera A here at home, it's usually mounted on this Manfrotto fluid head, which is then on top of a slick AMT tripod. However, there is one problem I've noticed with shooting with this camera on this fluid head. The issue ultimately boils down to the fact that this small mirrorless camera doesn't have the best battery. So this is the battery pack used by these cameras. It's the uh, Canon LPE12. It's only a, what, an 875 milliamp hour battery, so not the best battery life on these cameras. This problem is mitigated by the fact that I own several batteries. However, the mounting plate for this camera restricts my ability to easily replace the batteries. So I needed to come up with a solution to replace my batteries without having to remove my camera from the fluid head and taking off the base plate because that's a lot of steps. That's when I noticed something I have here. I was sorting through some of my small rig accessories and came across this. This right here is a small rig handle designed to mount to the top of the cage. For reference, it would look a little something like this once it's mounted. I think there's a solution here, but it's going to take a bit of tinkering. I've removed the uh, base plate from the bottom of the M50 here. And my idea is to take this and mount it to the plate. The bottom of the base plate here specifies which direction the lens should be pointing in. This is worth taking into account. I'm going to put one of these screws on each end of the handle here just to ensure this is as stable as possible. Now, here is where I run into an issue. The bottom of my small rig cage simply doesn't have the right holes uh, to mount to this handle like this. This is after all designed to mount to the top. However, I think I have a solution for this. All right, so here we go. We got something from Small Rig. So, this right here, this is a cheese plate. 
It's used for all kinds of different mounting applications, and I think you're starting to see where I'm going with this. Came with these two hex bolts and a ubiquitous Allen key to, to add to my collection of many, many ubiquitous Allen keys. So, this is how I mounted the cheese plate. Does that crooked orientation upset you? It definitely upsets me. However, I couldn't for the life of me find any other way to get these bolts into the recessed holes uh, that, they, that they could go into um, and use two of them at the same time. So unfortunately, this is the most secure method uh, I'm gonna have of mounting this cheese plate. All right, quick addendum here. It's uh, a couple days later. And if you're anything like me, that lack of a right edge would have really bothered you. So I actually took a second look at it here and I figured out a solution that worked out. For whatever reason, I think I was somehow fixated on this idea that the two bolts had to be in two separate holes in the cheese plate. But really just, just putting two of them in this one channel here uh, did the job just fine. And it's, it's still pretty sturdy and it's uh, also straight so that pleases me just a bit more. So, here's the solution to my battery dilemma. Is it the most elegant solution? Uh, no, but I wasn't exactly going for elegance, I was going for utility. And for the small cost of a cheap cheese plate, I definitely solved the issue. Let me demonstrate. Battery comes out, and the new battery goes right back in. So, uh, I'll put a link to the small rig materials I used to make this mounting job possible. And uh, that's about all I have to say. Thanks for coming along on this quick little journey through the world of camera mounting, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.